just wanted to show you one of the least known of the tools uh, that are available for WordPress for curation. A lot of people are using plugins for curation and there's nothing wrong with that. Every plugin you install however has the potential to slow your site down a little and any opportunity we can take to uh, use either web services or internal functions of WordPress to be able to take some of that strain off our site will increase the speed at which our pages load. I've recently found the in the tools section this uh, press this bookmarklet has been added to WordPress in a, a recent update. I was just going to show you how this works because this is a really nice uh, solution for curation. I'll just get rid of the press this bookmarklet that I've got in Chrome here. What you're looking for is the available tools and uh, if you look uh, I think this is the only tool I've got available at the present time. And it explains that press this is a little tool to help you grab bits of the web. This is effectively curation. And what you need to do uh, on a Chrome browser at least is to grab this press this link here and drag this up to your bookmarks toolbar and that sits just there. When you're in a website, let's say for example you find a, an article that you'd like to create, you'd like to uh, include in your website and I believe you need to be logged on to do this so I've, I've already, I'm already logged into my site. If you press, press this and what you've got here is a, a new post which has been started with a title with an excerpt of content from the post that was on the website when you pressed the press this bookmarklet and a link to the original source. You've also got a chance to be able to choose an image that was on that page to use as the image. And by doing that, you can end up quite nicely with, whoops, that's lost, lost the fact that that is a quote. You can end up uh, quite nicely with a, a post that can quite easily be created. Uh, if I preview this, you'll see what I mean. Where you quite easily create the content of the post. Now, there's nothing to stop you doing that yourself in terms of um, uh, copying uh, the expert search yourself, uh, creating the link yourself. I just I like this as a as a quick and easy solution to this. Um, what you can do to to speed up this process, if you find a few of these, and you press press this, you can always save this save this as a draft in your WordPress site and come back to it later, so that as you're browsing the web, you're not perhaps creating content on that particular day. Maybe you've got a day of the week where you create your blog posts, but you find something interesting. You can press press this and save draft and it'll save this as a, a draft in your WordPress site so that you're ready to come back to it at a later date. And in that way, the, the curation process can really be quite, quite nicely speeded up. The other things you can do here is to be able to insert media from your own library and to be able to apportion tags and categories to the post as you would do usually. So this is another way of creating a, a WordPress post and perhaps a way of curating content that means you don't need to use a content plugin that may in time slow your site down as you add more functionality and more plugins over time.